Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we are here again with Doug. Doug, you're becoming regular on my videos. It seems to be. <laughs> and people uh, are getting to know you and yep. say hi around the road. Yes, they are. That's Definitely. good. I'm that's helping good. a lot of people out there on the road too. Good. Yeah, that's why I love doing videos with you because your heart is always to give back. Yep, definitely. I'm trying to find my niche, giving back to helping people out. Right. Yeah, that's uh, that's the way this thing works the best is when mm -hmm. we're all just looking for a way to help each other. That's right. Yeah, it's, and it's working really well. As I think one of your videos said, you know, you get you, you, that's where you get your high is from helping people. Yes. And that, uh, that's the way to be, and it's, you know, it does work out that way. Uh, uh, the, uh, the the world of science actually has a name for it. I mean, it's an actual scientific fact. They call it a helper high, mm -hmm. and I, I'm a big believer in it. Yeah, definitely. That's, that's a good high to get. Oh, it is. So we're here to uh, do a re follow-up review on an Alpacool fridge. I came across this. Alpacool is a new brand of uh, compressor fridges, and they are cheap. I mean, inexpensive. Uh, and I wondered if they were any good, so we got one, and you've been testing it. How long have you had it now? Uh, October, we, uh, you uh, gave it to me. We were up in Prump at the uh, Howa build-up. Right. That's when I received it, and I've been putting it through its paces since. So that'd be October to November, December, January, about three months. About three months, yeah. And uh, this one, uh, this is the Alpacool T60? Correct. Correct? And it's the dual zone. And you have set them, one as a refrigerator, one as a freezer. Correct. And how's that working out? Works fabulous. Really? It's so nice to have. I mean, I can take, uh, you know, say ground beef, get bulk ground beef, divide it up in smaller packages, put it in the freezer, and it turns it into a, I mean, it's rock hard. Right. No, I currently I've been giving it a hard test and I have it uh, set. It's right now is at four degrees. So the freezer's four degrees. Four degrees. And the fridge is probably thirty-five. Yeah, forty right something 35, like that. And that is where I keep it at. So it's everything's nice and cold and it works wonderful. And are things in the refrigerator department freezing? No. No, it no. doesn't freeze and doesn't this freeze. doesn't thaw. It's correct. Wow, that it is that close together with the divider and I have stuff pop right next to it and it does not freeze. Oh, that's just great. Yeah. I have um I have mine don't I don't have the dual zone of mine and uh if I put it too cold, I will freeze pop. Mm -hmm. And I've actually burst pop. Yeah. And and so for you to be able to put it right beside it, that's right. amazing. Yeah, I haven't moved where the whole unit is a freezer or the whole unit is fridge yet because I do like the option. It holds so much. Yeah. That I haven't needed to do that yet. Right. Uh, and I, you know, the big concern with a, a, a name we don't know, Alpacool, who'd ever heard of it before, mm -hmm. that is this cheap. Uh, you just looked it up, and how much was this one? Uh, it's right what? 350. So uh, this is the Alpacool T60, and last time we saw Amazon had it for 350 dollars. But as of right now, I couldn't find it on Amazon, and so what I think is going on that is that it's out of stock, and so it's not on. I'm assuming that. They do have the T38, which is the smaller one, and I'm sure it's exactly the same thing, but yeah, smaller. Definitely. But my guess is this is so popular that it's out of stock. I'm hoping because this is a great fridge. Yeah, I love this fridge. You would not turn, <laughs> oh, you'd no. not be rid of this under any conditions. No, but you know, I'm still uh, testing it and using it. So right. if you said, well, let's try something different, and we would try something different. Okay. Well, no, uh, we won't do that. I'm flexible that way, <laughs> of course, you know, but this, because prior to this, I was using the uh, cooler. Right. Yeah, you know, I had it wrapped in Reflectix real good, and I also wrapped that with a sleeping bag to help insulate it as much as I could, and I did pretty good with it. Yeah, I was able to keep 15 pounds ice for uh, five days. That's a long time. Which I mean, you open the lid sparingly, and that with this, I just open it, close it whenever I want. I put the uh, Reflectix. Sell some of your um, leads in there, you know, put Reflectix on it, it helps. So as soon as I got it, I put Reflectix on it. Mm -hmm. I didn't even waste time to see how it goes. I wanted to give it every advantage to work the best it could. Right. Now my fear had been, because it's so big, 60 quart, and half of it is at four degrees, that it would be a real power hog. Has that been a problem? No. Not at Not all? Not at all. Oh. No, I'm running this on a 100-watt uh, uh, eco-worthy suitcase 
uh, solar system going through a 100 amp AGM battery. Right. And that's all it's running is this, but there's, uh, I don't know the amps exactly. I don't have the meter for that, but it starts out at night, uh, say, oh, well, sundown. So that's six o'clock. It's when I stop getting power and I start getting power again about eight o'clock in the morning. And it you, goes from 12, eight, it goes down to 12, five. The next day. Next morning, right. when I'm finally getting power and it's down, the battery's at 12.5. Wow, that's just nothing. No, that sips it and it yeah. runs. Like I said, I don't, I don't um, raise the freezer temperature at night to conserve power or anything. I just leave it running the way it is to see, give it a hard test. Now, we should say that you have a completely separate solar power system that's running the rest of the house. Yes, that is run off of the uh, 245 watt uh, panel that uh, I had received also, and that's going through uh, two uh, golf cart batteries. Mm -hmm. So that and they're not mixed. The no. 100 watts no. isn't providing the whole house, no. just this. Yes, just the fridge. That's right. all it's powering. Uh, but that still says, and, and it's not even using the whole 100 watts. No. Uh, and not it's winter time. Correct. when we have pretty limited amount of sun and strength of sun. And in this winter, it's been so cloudy and rainy here, right. so it's been at a disadvantage for even having normal sunlight. Right. And I've not had a problem yet. That's just fantastic. It really sips power. Yeah, very much so. So if you have, uh, I would say if most people have 200 watts and they don't have any other big draws, uh, they could probably run this just fine. Oh yeah, I don't see why you right. couldn't. Because when I first got this, I did not have the uh, AGM battery. I was using a Group 24 Walmart battery that I had for a year and a half. It was able to run. Oh wow. Of course, the morning reading was down around 12.3, but it was still, I wasn't damaging the battery, but that Group 24 battery was able to run this. And that's a small just battery. Just this, I mean, we're just talking this. Right. Uh, I think 20, Group 24s are about uh, 60 or 70 watt about hours. 70. Uh, 70. Yeah. So that's a very small battery, and it was older anyway, so it probably yeah. didn't have the full seven. No, I had damaged it. <laughs> yeah, I, I abused it. That happens so, yes. so easily. You Definitely. need it that day, and so you take it, and yes. there you go. Exactly. So overall, after three months of use, you think this is great. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Absolutely love it. I recommend this to so many people. Right. And then when I open it up and show them how deep and how much uh, groceries that you can put in here, it just amazing right yeah very very much yeah and you did a great job with covering it i yeah, want to that's... point out again that you left all the vents wide open yes you're not inhibiting those at no. all and that's death to a fridge yeah so that's perfect and this has got to really help i would think yeah and the uh, lids made out of uh, the very top here it has four layers of reflectix this is two. Oh, that's great wrapped around it and then you know around the edge too i've, uh -huh. I've had practice uh putting reflective on refrigerator. So I'm, you know, I should have been um, a Christmas gift wrapper. <laughs> wrapper. Right. Uh, but a little bit of duct tape and the Reflectix uh, here in Quartzite was uh, $25. And you're gonna save that and in, in your, how long your battery lasts, I yes. think. I haven't tried it without the wrap on it as soon as I got it from some of your other videos. You recommended, I think we did, you did one on um, KC's. Mm -hmm. I wrapped it with yes. ticks. So as soon as I got it, I wrapped it. Mm -hmm. Very that good. Way to give it as much uh, efficiency as it can have. Right. And you have it up where it can be hit by the sun. Yeah. So the reflectix really makes a difference if yes. it's hit by the sun. Definitely. I haven't noticed a difference at all right. in the amount of where the temperature sits at, where it sits at, where it's set at, is where it stays at. Yeah, that's the only place you could find it. Except if you're, <laughs> no, except if you're um, leaving the lid open and that stuff and stuff in and out and not really keeping it all closed up and it's in the sun, it'll raise up the temperature, but it's right back down to it's four degrees within 10 minutes. Right, right, that's really great. Yeah. And it's quiet, it's running uh, now and it's yeah. not it's not loud. No. Uh, it does put out heat, and but in the winter that's good. Yeah. Summer has it been a problem? Hasn't been yeah. hot enough yet in the summer no, to see what it'll know. do to it. Right. And I keep it close, it's within uh, about that far from the wall, but there's airflow. I looked at it 
see what the um, distance had to be. So it's close to the wall because it does take up a pretty good footprint. It's a big, it's a big unit. Definitely, but it's uh, I've had no problems at all with it. So after uh, three months, you give it an unconditional thumbs oh, up. Two thumbs up. Two for thumbs sure. up. Definitely. Good. Good. Definitely. Good. And folks, we'll check back uh, hopefully at six months, nine months, mm -hmm. a year, two, yeah. we'll keep you informed so that you know in the long run, is it reliable? That's the question. You don't expect any fridge to work great for a while, mm -hmm. but uh, seeing it last for a really long time, that's what counts. Yeah. Well, thanks so much, Doug. I really oh, appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Folks, if you got anything out of this video, and I know you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you later.